Hi everyone, how are you going? I'm doing number day six for the International Crafters Challenge today and today it's paper so you've got to put your napkin on paper and I just thought well I might do an art journal page because that's actually putting and I'm going to use the napkins as like the focal images on the page well I'm hoping to anyway so I went through my absolutely large stash of napkins and I found this one here that's got this awesome bird on it and I also found another one that has more or less it's got a really lovely pastel colour flower and the colours are pretty much the same so there's a lot of you know the pink pastel colours here and same with this one here so I'm going to do day six the napkin on paper and turn it into a journal page and where did I get that paint from just there where is it I'll just put paint everywhere on something oh there it is let's just wipe that off I've got a bit of paint here beside me in a tray and I just wave this across it because I have just put some gesso on my page so I've got it here sitting and I just well nearly done it again I have the fan going it is so hot here today I'm still waiting for our autumn to start waiting for it to cool down okay so here's my page and I'm just going to get a brush <clears throat> and I've got some grass green is it no teal green and and white here and I'm thinking I just want to mix these two together to get a lighter green maybe even a bit lighter than that Yep, I do want it a bit lighter. I have quite a bit of paint left over, I think. Okay, so just going to mix that up to get it a little bit lighter. Okay, it's getting there. So that will do me, I think. Yep, that'll do. Alright, so that's what I'm going to start with. I'm just going to put this down on my page. It actually looks a bit bright, but it's fine. It'll be fine. Okay, so I've got my background colour on. I should, I'm just thinking I was, should have just used a dry brush and put it on so it came out streaky. But that's okay. It'll be fine. You know, sometimes I start something not thinking about what I want to do, just hoping that it'll end up being okay. And then like halfway through I think, oh, I should have done this, oh, I should have done that, but... Oh well, <laughs> it happens. Okay, so I'm going to dry that one up. Okie doke, dry enough. Now I've got, I'm thinking that I want my flower on this side here and my birdie on this side. Hmm, or maybe the other way around. I'll take the backing paper off this one. Is there any one backing yet? And there's a backing paper on that one. So 
just let me see this. That might look better on that side there. So put that there and then I'll have to get the other birdie that faces the other way for the other side. Okay, so I've, I've got this birdie now that faces the other way. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? That might look alright there. I'm thinking it will, but I do still like this one down here. Okay, and let me see, I'm just trying to work it out in my head which way I like it better. I think I actually like it that way, I like the birdie looking down towards there. Okay, so I'm going to glue those on. Uh, before I do that I'm just going to gently just rip around the edges. I have to do this very carefully because I know with other napkins that I've ripped around I've just ended up ripping it in half because they are very very delicate. Okay. Alright, so I've got that one there and I'll just rip down some of this edge. Okay, doke. Now just going to rip around this birdie too. The fan's blowing all that away. Okay, so so far, I've got that and that. Now, that looks pretty cool. Just going to grab my raw umber and a little bit of that, put a little bit of that in there. And a credit card. Where's my half one? I might cut another one in half actually. Okay, now I might need a bit of paper to do this. I'm uh, not sure. Okay. I'll do it this way. Let's see how it goes. So I want to, I just want to have an experiment and see if I can bring bring some of those colours. maybe not no, not going to work right let's use a brush a dry brush okay okay I'm going to do that on both sides Some of the green as well, the darker green. Okay, that looks pretty cool. All right, now dry that up 
and ready to put my napkin on there now and I want acrylic matte medium and a little do and a brush So on this side here I'm going to put that one. Alright, so down in that corner there. I don't I'm going really gently. I don't want to rip that napkin. Alright, now I'm going to go over the napkin with some more gel medium make sure it's down there and stays down there make sure there's no air bubbles underneath it either Okay, so got my birdie down there. That looks so cool. That looks pretty. And on this side, I'm going to put the flower. And I've just been thinking maybe I might put a couple of flowers on this side. I don't know yet. But I'm going to put this one there first. So I'll get some gel medium down. Just there and start at the bottom with the napkin and press it down. Now some more gel medium. And just go over the top of this one as well. And just press it down nicely. So I'm really not sure if um, I got this ch today's challenge right because it's just you just had to put a napkin onto some paper. So. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, I've put it on paper, haven't I? Made it into an art journal page. <laughs> okay, I like that. That looks cool. But I am thinking that maybe I want another flower just up here in this corner. So I'll grab my this back again. The one with the... Whoops, did I just rip that? No take the back off it and I don't know I don't know if I do or if I don't I feel like I do I'm going to try it anyway okay so let me just see if I do want that on there. Mm. Yeah, I do want just the flower though because that would be just a bit too much foliage for me. So I'm just going to rip around the rest of the flower and rip down the stem. Okay, let's see that now. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I like that. So I'm going to put that on there now. And try to bring that stem down to there. So if I just hold that there for a... No, I'm going to have to rip this off too. Just around here. 
I'm trying to keep that butterfly but I don't really want that spot there okay so that one's going to go just about there I'll put this bit of stem down here first because I want to try and join it up to that just there and then come up with this bit I've got a little butterfly still there yep yeah, I like that I like having that those two there and now this one here and just come up gently okay yep yeah, I like that that looks nice Where's my scissors? Just going to snip that off really carefully there. Oh, it's stuck on my envelope. Just snip that up that way a bit. I can tidy that up um, a lot better when it dries. I did rip that little page there. So just glue that back together. Just put a little bit of a tissue over it. There we go. It's glued the page back together where I ripped it. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. I like that. And then when it dries, I'm just going to go round and just highlight that top that top flower. So I've, that looks pretty cool. I like it. It does look nice. It does look pretty. So I've got my birdie here and I've got my two flowers and I also ripped or cut um, a couple of butterflies too. So I'm not sure if I want to use the butterflies or not. I might work that out later. Okay, so while that is drying, make sure I get those off before I rip any more. Um, I'm just going to grab my card again and go and put, just carry on a few of these, the darker lines here that are actually in the napkin and just just carry that on up here if you know what I mean so we've got that okay that does look good I like that that does even though my green is a little bit different that still looks pretty pretty cool no, that didn't work, did it? That one there. I smudged that one again. Nee. <laughs> and it's going to bug me if I don't clean it up. So, just go over that one there again. Mm -hmm. It's even giving me more now. It's too dark. Okay. So a bit of some of that. Okay, that looks good so far. Just going to bring another bit of that one back here. Okay. 
Okay, that looks cool. I like that. Now, I'm just going to wait until it has a good dry. Maybe put a few on this side. I keep saying I'm going to wait for it to dry, but oh, what's wrong with me sometimes? Okay, so I'm just going to put a few of those down here. Make them a bit darker on this side. Okay, that looks so much better. Just adding those few little details. Now I'm going to let it dry. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Alright, I am. I'm going to let that dry. And I will be back when that's dry. That is such a pretty... They're both such pretty napkins. Serviettes, whatever you want to call them. Okay, I shall come back.